hello. Cute is the key word here, right? Like, the cute. I have put the colorful cereals in there in the past, but I like to keep the color scheme going. Whatever, don't at me. This is what I like to do, okay? It's gotta be cute for me. It's gotta be cute. You're gonna eat it. You're gonna eat it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna thank me later. Mm hmm. What up, Wagwan? It's your saint. It's your girl, Minna Dibia. And in this video, we are gonna go over some of my Amazon favorite products. Now, if you don't already know, I do have an Amazon storefront. It's always linked in my description box, but I wanna cover some of my favorites that I feel like you need because like, hello. If you're not already subscribed, do that now or of course, at the end of the video. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok, so follow your girl in those places. Links are always in the description box. And everything that I cover will also be down below, okay? This has been a process, right? Like it didn't just start yesterday, but I've really been into making my house a home. So with that meant putting some upgraded touches to the bedroom. And the first thing I wanna show you are these pillows. So these are accent pillows. I've been seeing them for a long time. And honestly, I didn't know how to make it work, but I figured it out and I was, so I purchased these pillows. They come in a set of two. And then I purchased the covers. I actually purchased two other types of covers before this one right here the shams, whatever you call it. And I didn't realize that when you purchase a pillow, let's say it's 20 by 20, you're not supposed to purchase the shams in the same size because they were far too big. So I don't know if I got 16 by 16 or 18 by 18. Again, I'll link it below, but I had to get a smaller size sham to fit the pillows. So FYI, in case you didn't know that that was even a thing, but these look so good on the bed. I wasn't sure if I should do a tan. I didn't want to do black because the furniture is black and I wanted to brighten up the room. So I stuck with white and I like how it looks. The easy Easy thing is I can always just change the pillowcases for something different, but I definitely love how these accent pillows, you know, the choppable pillows, I love how it just elevates the bedroom, makes it look like a hotel. I love that. Now this wooden candle pedestal, I think is so cute. I have three of them. I'm only using two, but I have one as an extra, you feel me? I have one in the bathroom, the candle is on it. It just looks great because the color scheme in the house, and I know you might call it boring and basic, but that's what I like. Remember, these are things that I like. Everyone should do what they want to do. So this natural looking, wood, the natural wood color pedestal, I think is just really cute. It makes the candles look cute. It makes the snaps look cute. It just is cute, okay? So it's a great way to take the candles off of the surface, put it on something cute, and cute is the key word here, right? Like, the cute. And obviously the candles I love to use are Forever Mood and Bath and Body candles, not from Amazon Obvi, but the pedestal is really a nice touch. You can also use the pedestal to put your soap and lotion on it in the bathroom or your, yeah, your, your dish soap and lotion on it in the kitchen. Let's say that you have dispensed your soap and lotion into something real nice and cute, right? Which is also on my list. I have that in the bathroom. Then you could put the those two containers on the pedestal, wicked, wicked cute. Now for the soap dispensers that I have in the bathroom, I did buy a three pack of Dove hand wash that I wanna share with you. So I just poured it in and it smells wicked good, does not leave my hands feeling dry. So I definitely wanna add that to the list. Again, all links are below. And then of course, every girl needs a robe. I have so many robes. I go through so many of them. And so recently I purchased another white waffle robe. This one is shorter, so it, it goes right on, like right at the thigh, you feel what I'm saying? They do have a longer version. I've had several of those in the past as well. Just be careful, because you know you wash and wash and dry and dry, they be shrinking on a kid, but it's Amazon, like what the heck? But I did purchase one that was shorter so you know summertime fine you feel what i'm saying the waffle robe is just very spa like just all the things definitely a must So in the kitchen, you know, the girl has these dispensers as well. I think that they're aesthetically pleasing. I wish I got the white one, but I do have the clear and black. And of course you can put popcorn, cereal in these, granola, and it just looks nice. Now, right now mine are empty, but normally there's white popcorn in there. So it just matches the aesthetic and it's just delicious. I like to get the low carb popcorn, you know, and just Nini eats all of it. He be just chilling it all down. I have 
put the colorful cereals in there in the past, but I like to keep the color scheme going, whatever. Don't at me, that's what I like to do, okay? The drying rack is a really cute touch too, because sometimes you wanna dry something without actually putting it in the dishwasher. Now I use my dishwasher every now and again, 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 because I grew up washing dishes by hand. We are from Ghana, I don't know dishwashers, okay? So I don't use my dishwasher like that, like that. I use it to dry the items, but then I like having the dish rack because sometimes I just want it to be at hand's reach. This is a frother. I will wash this quickly and just put it on top of the drying rack and just leave it because I'm gonna reach for it and I just wanna just see it. Whatever, okay? I have a drying rack, I'm using it. I think it's cute. It's silver, stainless steel. It just looks nice and sleek over the kitchen sink and I wanted to share that with you too. Now wine glasses and a decanter, honey, top notch, okay? I learned on TikTok that there is a difference between a red wine glass and a white wine glass. And I know the champagne flute, honey. So all of these things, the decanter, the white, red, and the champagne flute, all from Amazon, so sexy, so sleek. You need all of them if you're going to be entertaining or if you just wanna romanticize yourself. I'm all about romancing myself. So I'll, I'll pop open about a bottle of wine on my own and just enjoy it, you know, bubble bath, night, movie, whatever, and just enjoy. And I want to do it and feel like I'm at a spa or I'm at a restaurant or something like that, you know? So you definitely need to have you an assortment of wine glasses that fit the occasion, you know? Now, I recently purchased some new white chargers. The old ones that I have from Home Goods are busted and disgusted, honey. So these are the new white chargers that I have that you put down on the table and then your plate goes on top of it. It just looks cute and, you know, elevated. And then the light, natural colored woven placemats. Okay, they're called placemats, go underneath it. It just looks cute. Again, the color matches the aesthetic here in the house, but there are different colors in case your aesthetic isn't white, natural, and black. It's gotta be cute for me. It's gotta be cute. Comment and let me know if you're into the cute or are you more into functional? Either way works because again, it's all about what you wanna do. And then this rotating tray that I have in the middle of the dining table is so cute from this is from Target, but I wanted to throw it out there because I do have it. It's great if you're gonna be doing family style feeding, you can just rotate the tray and everyone can get what they want. Or you put a flower vase in the middle of it like I have right now, and it just looks nice, you know? So just that's, that's a little extra for the kid, okay? And now let's talk about some tech items that I feel like you're gonna need. So you know how if you create content and then you have your SD card, you have to put it into your laptop or your computer in order to download the files that are on there? Well, I actually found this from another influencer. And if you know, you know, there's an adapter that can actually go into your phone and then you put your SD card in. It's an SD card phone adapter. It's perfect for when you're on the go or even at home when you want to, let's say, edit a picture on your phone or edit a video in InShot and not have to put it onto your computer first and then the phone and then all this, you know? You can simply put the SD card in the adapter into the phone and then get all your files down that way. It's just a whole thing. And it's wicked cheap too on Amazon. You need this for sure. If you have a, a DSLR or another camera and you wanna quickly download your information to your phone, you need this. You also need a good selfie stick, honey. So I have quite a few selfie sticks. I've gone through so many and I have narrowed down what my faves are. So there are these two selfie sticks from the same brand. One is smaller, one is bigger. The bigger one can extend really tall, I think 61 inches. So it's perfect when I'm out and about and wanna get reels type videos and you want it to be really high so that it looks like it's a person who was holding the phone versus this smaller one, which is perfect because it can fit into your purse easily. It can go on top of a table and get your shots that way. You can also put it on the ground and extend it, but it's not gonna extend that high. So there are these two and I like that they're compact and they look like a baton. <laughs> they look like batons, honestly. I have a lot of selfie sticks. If you look at my tech category and on Amazon, you'll see a whole bunch. These are my two new ones and I think I'm gonna like these two better than the other ones that I've purchased over the years. You definitely need an external hard drive, honey. So if you saw my video on the YouTube secrets, that is a no brainer. I have this orange one. I also have a WD one that I use on my desktop. It just sits there. Actually, I also have two Samsung ones. I have four external hard drives, okay? Don't ask why, all right? But you can get one that's one terabyte up until maybe five or more terabytes. Either way it goes, it's great. It's rugged, so if it falls down, you don't worry about it breaking. I always 
like to eject it when I'm not using it because I've made the mistake of keeping my external hard drive plugged into my camp, my laptop all the time, even when I was transporting it. This was years ago when I was working and I was editing <laughs> at lunch. And the, the connection to the computer got loose and it just, it's a mess. So when I'm not using it, I do like to eject and take it out so that it's no, the connection doesn't get all wonky. But having an external hard drive, very, very important if you're creating content. Don't wanna bog down a laptop. It's a plus, it's a must, and I like this one. Now this charging station, honey, makes my life so happy. I've always wanted one of these and I don't know what took me so long. I have three actually. One in the studio, one actually here in the kitchen, and then one in my suitcase because I don't want to have to have 17 different chargers to charge things. I just love that it's just one plugged into the wall and then my phone goes on the front, the AirPod goes at the bottom back, and then the iWatch is on the top. It just makes life so easy. I'm so sick and tired of all these cords, you know? So I have three of them because they're just perfect. They just, they're white, they're cute. I got them all over. I ain't gotta think too much about it. And honestly, my phone doesn't die anymore. It doesn't die anymore. And then because it sits up and looks at you, then I don't have to have it in a tripod and then the cord connected to it. I can just put my phone right there and then be using it to record or to watch a show, watch IG stories, whatever. It just is a no brainer. I don't know what took me so long. It took me far too long, but I finally have them and I can't live without them, honey. No need to be having all kinds of cords. I already have enough cords around. Like what in the world, you know what I'm saying? If you have one of these, I want you to comment and let me know. And then this acrylic riser, I actually got because Aaliyah's face mentioned it in her vlog, and I got it to use on the bed because sometimes I want to work from the bed and my blanket is fluffy, so it engulfs the laptop, but she uses it because the laptop does overheat, so it's good to have it away from the blankets. It's cute, okay? It's the aesthetic, you feel what I'm saying? It's cute to use in the bed or on a desk. It's a riser, so you can use that, let's say, in your bathroom with your makeup or your toiletries. You can use it with your desktop. You can use it with your laptop on your desk as well. You can use it for a lot of different things. I have a different riser in my bathroom actually that I've used to elevate stuff. And I think it looks really cute. That's a different one. But I like this one for the bed for sure. And it's really cute and sleek. So, ew. Now let's talk about travel. We're, we're getting into a little bit more tech too, but travel related. So I've got a tripod that I have with travel and I haven't used it in, in some time because the whole point of it was to attach my phone to it to do reels. But lately I have been using my camera, my Canon 90D, which is what I'm using right now. And I've been taking that with me when I travel. And then I have a travel tripod for the 90D because it has to be on a heavy duty tripod. So from Best Buy, I know this is not an Amazon product, but I would just throw it in there. So from Best Buy, I have this travel light tripod, which is great because it is indeed light. I'm gonna link that too, and I'll link my camera as well. But the one that I use for my phone, you can use it for a small camera too. It just can't be heavy. This one is too heavy to put on that tripod. And then I have a mirror that attaches to the tripod so that I can have a mirror in front of me when I am filming a, a Get Ready With Me video or whatever when I'm traveling. Then I also have an attachment to attach a ring light to the tripod so that when I'm traveling and I'm in a hotel, I can easily create footage. Listen, I am all about convenience. I'm gonna carry my stuff. I'm always gonna have a carry-on luggage and it's gonna be my all my tech. And then my check luggage is gonna be everything else. So I take all of my tech stuff in the carry-on because I have my DSL LR. There's no way we're not checking this, you know? So makeup and clothes and things, toiletries all go in the check luggage. It just what it is, what it is. I'll pay the fee. I need it. You know, it's a must. And then I use a windshield phone mount on travel as well. And I attach that to the bathroom mirror. And that's what I put my phone on to watch shows, listen to things, look at IG stories, record stories, whatever. And then I attach a small ring light to the windshield phone mount that is on the the bathroom mirror so that I have more light. Girl, it's a whole thing. It sounds like a lot, but when I travel, the content be content in. So it be, it be doing what it needs to do. So if you're a content creator, you're gonna want all of these things. It does make a huge difference. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna thank me later. Mm-hmm. And then when it comes to jewelry, I have a jewelry category on Amazon. Make sure you look at that link is below. I also did a video on my Amazon jewelry. Make sure you watch that. But I have some new rings that I love. Mind you, I bought size 10 because my hands are historically big. <laughs> 
not big, but like, you know, whatever. But since I've lost weight, I'm like, the 10 is big. They're falling off. So now I know, I, look at me, I'm like, but now I know I wear a nine, but they're 10, but they're really, really cute. So I have the croissant ring, you know, and then I have another solid one and then one that's a baguette. I'm gonna do things that you won't regret. Lil Kim the Queen B, you know, you best say he. Shout out Pro C, yes the D. I'm a throw, sh you know, you know how, listen, it's a throwback, right? So I got the baguette ring. It's so cute. You know what I mean? It's giving the vibes. I love that. I also have these bracelets that are from Amazon as of late and I wear them day and night in the shower. Ain't nothing going on with them. They're just cute to just always have on jewelry. And then these earrings are Amazon. I've been wearing these day and night as well. The last one is gold. I got that when I got my piercing, but the two, and I have a whole bunch. Watch the video or just look at the link to to my jewelry on Amazon below, but I wanted to point out that the newest additions are the rings, and they're so cute. I'm not wearing them today, but they do make the hands just look glorious when you're all dressed up. It's like, ooh, wait. You know, when you're talking, you got your nails done, it just does something, okay? And if I haven't already mentioned, this is a YouTube video. They have lots of them. They go on for like 24 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours, whatever. There is sound, but I'm not using sound today. And that is it for my Amazon must-haves for 2022, or at least for now. <laughs> I'm shopping at Amazon all the time. Necessities, newies, <laughs> newies, just the whole thing. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any of these, or if you have any Amazon products that you feel like I need or should try, I wanna know as well. And I'm gonna link two videos here for you to choose from. Watch another one, don't go too far. And as always, I'm glad you're here, and I thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.